Tip number one, you can choose how wide you want to open a door. It could actually be very useful in some situations, especially when you're fighting more than one person. Tip number two, head sliding. This is basically where you wall run with your head and it gives you some crazy outplayability with Octane's pad. My favorite place to do is streamer building because not only can it send you all the way through the building, you can also very easily jump up to the second floor and it makes you so hard to hit. People don't expect it at all. And you can do it in many different places around any map. Try it out. Tip number three, if you want virtually no recoil, then do this. Some people call it aim smoothing. I like to call it aim assist assist. So when you move your stick right and left while aiming, you can see that it basically has no vertical recoil and they kind of stay on the same pattern on the same line so what you want to do is just aim the opposite way you're strafing basically so if you're strafing left you aim right if you're strafing right you aim left it basically stops you from having to pull your stick down to control the vertical recoil it makes recoil much easier to control the range and allows you to do less work for an even stronger beam tip number four if you really want to move to alcs but the numbers just look way too intimidating here's an easy conversion chart that you can follow pause the video if you want to have a look tip number five crypto has a permanent gold mag when you go into your drone after shooting it reloads your weapons for you tip number six Put a jump pad on top of where the zip line ends. It is the most useful thing I've ever done. It sends people hopelessly flying in the air and they just can't do anything while they're floating there and you can just beam them. This works on literally any building with a zip line. Tip number seven. Fighting a Watson makes me sad. A way you can counter her fences, especially in a zip line building, is by jumping off the zip line and mantling on the floor that the fence is on. You can then either beam them or destroy their fences. Tip number eight. If you're in a fight and you get cracked, don't instantly heal. I see a lot of people making the mistake of instantly healing when a lot of the time it just gets them killed. If they've just cracked you, if they're decent players, they're most likely going to push you. And the last thing they would expect you to do is re-peek them. And that's what you should do. Unless you obviously know you can pop off that bat or sell, then just take the risk. They're not going to expect it. You'll catch them off guard and you'll probably win. Tip number nine. There's actually a very small thirst timer on Apex. So when you knock someone and you try thirsting them, especially if you have a shotgun, if you try shooting them as soon as they go down, it's going to count as a no reg because the game literally hasn't registered that they've gone down yet. If you have an automatic gun, by all means, just spray them. But if you have a shotgun, just be wary because that first shot will count as a no reg. Tip number two. This one's for you M and K players out there. Don't worry, I'm not leaving you left out, okay? If you play on MK, switch the controller. Tip number 11. If you really want to excel in your aim or just be a better player in general, try sticking to the same legend. Not because of their abilities, but because they all have different heights. So if you're always just switching between legends, maybe that's something for you to keep in mind. And I'm not saying your aim's going to be bad if you keep switching legends. Generally, it's just that if you master one legend, you're just going to be better. When I switch from Octane to Wraith, even though the height difference is so minimal, my aim does feel a little tiny bit different. Tip number 12. There are such things as apex days and non-apex days. You can literally play for nine days a week, 36 hours a day, but then you get on the next day and you just start playing like cheeks. So if you are playing Apex and you're just completely sucking on that day, then I highly recommend you do something else, okay? Because dying continuously on Apex is probably one of the worst pains a man can truly feel. So go do something that is good for your mind. Don't watch TikTok. Don't watch YouTube shorts, okay? Because I'm telling you, that amount of dopamine for you is not good for your brain. Go work out. Go eat some f broccoli, man. Give your body and brain some happiness. Tip number 13. When you're on a zip line and you're trying to jump off to escape from someone, don't jump crouch, it will take you off the zipline much faster than jumping, and there'll be less of a chance of you dying. Tip number 14. If you and an enemy are just standing on opposite sides of a door, you can tell whether the door is open or closed by reading if it says open or closed. However, if it says open and you're not the one who opened it, just move back and the door will open and you can beam them and they'll have no idea what just happened to them. But if nothing's actually happening and you're just staring at each other, a way to guarantee a win for every door fight is by being the first person to kick the door once. And by kicking it once, they're most likely going to move away from the door and be scared. I've done this countless times. Tip number 15. If you actually want to look like you have aimbot on the game, try out these ALCs because look how fast it is. And then as soon as your crosshair gets over an enemy, it slows down exponentially and it just allows you to beam with precise accuracy while also still being able to like flick on enemies if you need to, you know? These used to be my old ALCs and I had a lot of fun with it, but purely because of this, because it looks like you're actually just hacking. This is what those settings are. And the way it slows down is by having the ADS turning extra your on. Um, so if you have this really high and then your ADS pitch speed slightly slower so 110 is around three it will basically go super fast but then slow down when you hover over an enemy it's insane try it out it's actually very fun to use uh but i just don't use it anymore because i'm, I'm a 4-3 linear little bean as you can see <laughs> these are my current settings if you're interested but yeah guys that's been the video i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one my little creatures of the earth goodbye